Hey guys, just letting you know before we get into the video that if you stick around until the end, you will get a brief sneak peek in my video releasing hopefully this weekend. I've been working pretty hard on it. Now, let's get into the video. It happened. It happened. We all knew it would happen, let's face it. We all knew. But deep down inside, we really hoped it would not happen. But it did. Phase 4 has been delayed again. Alright, so as you know, Black Widow got pushed from May 1st to November 6th um, because of 2020. And it was, it was supposed to come out in a couple months and theaters started reopening. We got New Mutants, Tenet, Unhinged. Yeah, that, that came out. Um, and then Mulan went to Disney+. Plus. Now... The money these movies were making was not satisfying enough. And so movies got delayed again because they want theaters at bigger capacity so more people can go. So Marvel has pushed Black Widow back. Some people are upset. They wanted to go straight to Disney+. Plus. I'm happy because uh, I'd rather see it in the theater. But that's just me. So it got pushed to May 7th of 2021 so that is almost two years 22 months after far from home it'll be almost two years between mcu movies which is wacky which i'm kind of fine with for one reason because i wanted them to take a break after endgame i wanted them to take one year off though not two so between phase three and black widow is um longer than I had wanted. But while they were at it, they pushed back a couple other things. They did not push back every project, which is pretty cool. So most of it's still relatively where it was after the first delay. Uh, Eternals got pushed back to November 5th, 2021. Uh, it was supposed to come out in May. And Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings is right in between the two for July 9th of 2021. So Black Widow, Shang-Chi, Eternals. That's what we got. Um, as for other movies getting delayed, they haven't said anything. If Spider-Man gets delayed, that's a Sony announcement, not a Disney announcement, because that's a Sony project first, a uh, Disney project second. Uh, as for that, everything else is keeping its date. So February 18th, 2022 is still set for Thor Love and Thunder. Uh, March 25th, 2022 is still set for Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. And May 6th, 2022 is still set for Black Panther 2. Holy crap, there's three movies in the first half of the year? They might go five movies in that year. Good luck. I didn't even think about that until now. That's crazy. Anyway, uh, so Falcon and the Winter Soldier has also been officially pushed back to 2021. That's on Disney Plus's page. Uh, you can see it's coming out 2021. Uh, the reason for this, uh, one, they're not done shooting, and two... The rumor is that something in Black Widow sets up Falcon and the Winter Soldier, so that can't come out till Black Widow does. So that's just going to get pushed until we finally get Black Widow. And no news on any of the other shows on their dates either. So for now, it's just Black Widow, Shang-Chi, and Eternals that got moved. And WandaVision is confirmed to be coming out in December of 2020. All right, so that is it for the new dates and delays for MCU projects. WandaVision coming out in December. What do you think? Do you just want to cut their losses and put Black Widow on streaming? Are you excited for Black Widow? I know I personally am. Let me know all that good stuff down in the comments below. Leave a like on this video, subscribe, click on the bell icon to receive all notifications from the MCU HQ. And now here's a sneak peek for my video this weekend. A famous man once said, we create our own demons. Who said that? What does that even mean? Doesn't matter. I said it because he said it. So now he was famous and basically getting said by two well-known guys. 
I don't, uh, I'm gonna start again.